Why is music like yours so rare? It's ordinary for me. It's the way I play. It's the way I live, the way I feel. The way it's given to me to hear. So what I'm playing is native to me. Natural. There could be other, better ways of doing it. With different results and more <coughs> classical or traditional, but this seems to be the way. <coughs> the way of, let's say, crazy music. But wisdom, crazy wisdom music, and crazy wisdom sound. I call it hot fire sound, it means the same. The fire part is the crazy part of it, in a sense. It means liberated mind. What better way to express your liberation of spirit than through music? If you can do that, that's what it's for. In my understanding, limited understanding. One, one difference between you and, let's say, conventional musicians is you're, you have the capacity to play conventional and, and standard forms of music but not all players of that have the capacity or don't know they have the capacity to play music that comes from the heart and from freedom. The universe. I'm talking about universal expression. Cosmic, right? cosmic factor. The all and nothing right? factor of the super consciousness and determining what it is. People don't even believe in the super conscious let alone understand how it works, or could work, in one's case. It's a different world, it's a different universe in itself, a different process. But a few know what it is. Can it be taught? Can it be taught in... in it can be talked about, and it is demonstrated in the results of the, in the music case. case of music, you have recording for you. You hear, let's say, evidence of that process. See? Is it within our nature to be that way? Of course. But is it likely? Not exactly. Because it's not common. Exactly. It's not needed. So it doesn't show up. So then, are you saying the need for music like yours is, is relatively small among listeners? Fair enough to say. Yeah, it's not for the masses. It's not for those who want an easy way to play or easy way out. This is more extreme. For those beings who are pulled from within, who sense the presence of the universe in sound, and as a result, surrender themselves to the intelligence that is. And so can your exposure to your music uh, bring people to realization of the universe, even if they have no tendencies that way? No one knows. If you look up into the night sky, it doesn't mean you understand astrophysics. You have a perfect demonstration of it before your eyes. I mean, you are part of it, so. Same with music. You know, hearing a piece of music, classical, creative music, doesn't mean you're able to understand it or attain it. It may have nothing to do with you. It means nothing then. And maybe it means everything to someone. It could be the key or the bridge to higher understanding for others. So so having a, a foresight into what they could do. Okay? If they were to master certain elements of musical discipline and have an opportunity to apply them in this way, you know, selfless, uh, superconscious expression. And can ordinary music, uh, conventional music, have the same effects as your music?
Put some. Why not? It's not about uh, ordinary non-musical people. The music comes from here. It's really for advancing musicians who want to do the impossible and the mad. They want access to true madness, uh, playful uh, expression. See? And then this is very useful to them because that's to them with the transcending of self-sort mind and world programming. Is your music in any way a style or part of a school? Could be. Depends on who sees it what way. It's just the way that I play. The way that I moved to play from the beginning relative to childhood drumming, or even infant, see, infanthood <coughs> drumming and uh, expressing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the joy of having sound and time, uh, music. Particularly melodic music, but of course it's included. Voice, having voice, see? And the freedom to voice that voice. Have you played in settings where your music was not particularly welcome or well received? Generally. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Normally. And does that have any effect on how you play or what you play? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what it is that's happening is not tied into their value system or the ego system. So it is what it is. It comes from the heart, in my view. Mm. It's a gift. Mm. And so it is shared with others as such. It's a giving. It's not a taking. It's a giving. Pure and simple giving. Yeah. It's what I owe the people since it's given to me. And they may not understand it, but the highest wisdom is also like that. It's not com easily comprehended, but it doesn't diminish its sacredness and its place in the say, consciousness of human beings or superhuman beings. Does the presence or absence of an aud audience have any effect on how you play? I play the same way at home. I play to the spirits, not to their numbers, the count, the head count. Is there more? Could be more of a problem, could be better in some ways, but when there's more, there's more drag. And the heaviness is present. So it's harder work, so there's more to lift. So anyway. And if you have more minds that are bonded together who don't understand, then you have a barrier there. They're not in resonance with it. Could be so. It's possible. Like in the case of uh, John Coltrane's music, more and more people got behind it because they needed it. They understood it. Not a problem. This is different. Similar, but different. Parallel, in some ways, but different. Coming from that to a certain degree, uh, but mostly from the drum culture. I was born into dance culture, so to speak. Would you prefer a negative reaction to your music over an indifferent reaction? Uh, I appreciate an honest reaction to the music. And the music is intense, it's deep, and sometimes it's painful, like life, it's a bursting. The creative is always a bursting of sorts. Right? Mm -hmm. The people who play this music, who hear it, who understand it, who need it, understand that. So you 
come to hear an experience of rebirth, your own, as it's happening for others who are performing it. Sweet. It's beautiful. Nasty. <laughs> Dramatic. Pure. Genuine. Do you feel there's any sort of initiation in hearing your music? Initiation? It allows people to see or hear things that they couldn't access previously. Huh. That could be the case. Yeah. Well, it's not initiation into anything. It's maybe initiation out of what their culturing is. What they're used to, what is perhaps for them their comfort zone. <clears throat> Music's ultimate purpose, in my view, is not to keep you asleep. It could be used to wake you up. Not merely to virtu virtuosity, technical virtuosity, but spiritual liberation beyond technical virtuosity or musical virtuosity. Mm -hmm. So that this particular process includes its own level of technical virtuosity. Mm -hmm. Can you feel the presence of particular individuals in the audience when you're playing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Mm -hmm. And does that affect how you play or what you play? No, not necessarily. It validates what's coming through. That means it's not for me. That means it's for specific individuals in the audience. And they often come right up to me, speak to me about it. Not even knowing what the music is, you see. They're aware of the resonance. And they're grateful for it, in some cases. They say they came and didn't know what they were going to get, but they got something. Mm -hmm. They're good for you. That's what it's for. It's a giving. So take it or leave it. 